Let's get straight into Pandai because pregnant women in labor in Pandai in the northern region would no longer lie on the floor uh, for health care. This is because the hospital uh, has been expanded as a result of a mission story uh, done by our people. Take a look at this story. We'll return shortly with a conversation. Three years ago, but lacks adequate infrastructure. It remains a major referral center in Pandai and also serves some parts of the Nanumba South District. The hospital has no emergency ward, and so authorities have designated the corridor area to serve that purpose, but this only accommodates two beds. In fact, the health facility is fraught with many challenges. The maternity ward, for instance, is not spacious enough, and only few people can have access to beds and gain admission at the facility. Preterm babies, according to the hospital authorities, suffer the most because they lack incubators. We still would need uh, those uh, equipment, the incubators, the phototherapy machines, additionally a biochemistry machine so that we can help to take care of our, uh, our newborn. The Tamale Teaching Hospital is an alternative but one would need to cover over 150 kilometers amidst bad roads. After TV3's mission telecast its documentary on the situation at the hospital last year, Member of Parliament for Pandai, Matthew Nyindam, who is also the Majority Chief Whip in Parliament, went to the rescue of the hospital. With his common fund, he has constructed, furnished and handed over a maternity ward to the hospital. The project, supervised by the District Assembly, has been designed to include well-ventilated spacious rooms for theatre, labour ward, other wards and adequate beds. The MP has also made available an incubator which is yet to be installed. For the past three years, the district recorded three maternal deaths, all of which came from the Pandai District Hospital. The three deaths occurred in 2017. Two of them are due to antipartum hemorrhage and one of them postpartum hemorrhage. To a very large extent, this is a dream come true. Uh, it's been many years in the making, but at least since Honorable made this pledge, it's less than two years. So this is a dream come true in that from now we know that our mothers can come to the hospital, have a decent place to lay their heads while they receive care from us. Mary Makin characterized the commissioning ceremony as the event was graced by Second Lady Samira Baumia, Northern Regional Minister, MP for the area Matthew Nyindam, municipal and district chief executives, as well as heads of state institutions and departments. District Chief Executive for Pandai, Emmanuel Atta Tatablata, was happy about the success child. The facility like this, one has the potential of attracting quality professional to the district. Maintain it well so that it will last longer to fulfill the purpose of which it was constructed. Member of Parliament for Pandai, Matthew Nyindam, explained, solving the health needs of Pandai is a necessity. And that's a big giant leap there, if you ask me. We'll bring you a conversation with Samsung shortly. But first, let's turn our attention now to uh, Matthew Nyindam, is the Member of Parliament for Pandai, who joined us over the telephone lines, and Eunice Rahel uh, Agbanyeji. She is the head of Jesse and also a capacity building manager, Star Ghana. Eunice, welcome. Good morning. Thank you How very you much. How, what Thank are your you. thoughts about this story? How do you feel knowing that Star Ghana partnered us in our mission project to get this done? I think this is uh, very, very impressive and it is our expectation that when challenges are brought to 
the or when spotlight is put on challenges, mm -hmm. we get this kind of response. Mm -hmm. What it tells us is that we need partnership to be working together to get this kind of results. Mm -hmm. So we have seen TV3 very much involved. Okay. We have seen Star Ghana Foundation very much involved. And we have also seen the response from the member of parliament and the district assemblies to working towards fixing this challenge. Mm -hmm. And we think that um, this is a model that can be replicated across right. all the other districts mm -hmm. where Mission Ghana is working. Right. And Mission is brought to you by Star Ghana Foundation uh, with all their partners uh, putting this together. On the telephone lines now, Honorable Matthew Yindam is the Member of Parliament for uh, Pandai. Honorable, good morning. Thank you very much for your time. Hello, sir. Good morning. Hello, sir. Good morning. Hello, Mr. Ma yes, I hear you. Good morning. How are you? I am fine. Congratulations. This certainly is a feather in your cap. How do you feel about being able to use your common fund to solve a long-standing problem for the people of Pandai? Tell me about it. Well, let me say... Once again, good morning to you and then uh, your viewers. And then good morning to my people in Sandai and to also thank TV Tay for yeah, the good work you have, you have done for all of us because sometimes when you are in darkness, you need somebody to always bring you to the limelight so that uh, non governmental organizations, the government itself, and those of us who are stakeholders can also be challenged mm. to see what we can do to better the lives of the people who have entrusted their confidence and then they are, they are everything for you to, to lead them. So I feel, I, feel, I feel very happy that mm. at least I've been able to do something right. that will, 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 will improve the maternity, uh, the maternal health of the people of Mandai. Right. And and it's environment. So I feel very happy. I feel very, mm. very honored also for, 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 for this. Mm. What would you say about the enthusiasm of TV3 and uh, Star Ghana Foundation in, in highlighting this, following through with this, and in, th in that regard, advice to the other media houses, what do you advise that they do as well? I think it's, it's, it's a mark of good journalism. Mm. When, when you start a program or you see a challenge, you try to highlight the challenge, you follow up to the end and make sure at the end of the day, uh, the, 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 the solution that comes out of it will also come to the light of the people that look, we have started this challenge, we have broadcasted this challenge, stakeholders have not slept over it, they have been also, they've been able also followed up and been able to put up Mm. at least some kind of remedial solutions right. to your story. And I think that is a plus in your cap because right. you don't just highlight the negatives alone. Mm. The point is to you highlight it. Right. And I think that is exactly what Mission Ghana and your, 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 your team you are doing. I think it is what we should be expecting from you, you, you guys. I mean, the, 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 the system, that is the media system. Right. So that at the end of the day, the people will also be responsible. Right. Because things I've been able to do. It's not my personal money. It's people's money mm. is entrusted in my hands. Mm. You have heard a story. We have been able to provide a solution. And you are showing the solution to the people. And right. I think that that is the way to go. And they, we are very happy for what you are doing. I, I can imagine the mood and feeling of the people now, especially the women and children for whose benefit this is done. But tell me what expectations you look forward to receiving from philanthropists and uh, government and other agencies in terms of managing the facility and maintaining it to to serve the purpose for which it was put up? Yes, I think uh, uh, the, if you look at the, the maternity block, I call it maternity block, but when we, you get inside, you get to know that it's far bigger than that. We still have some challenges, like we don't have an X-ray system there. If you have some challenge that has to go through the X-ray, mm -hmm. you don't have it there. I have been able to provide one incubator okay. for these stillborn babies, mm. one is not enough. Others will have to come on board if they can. And the maintenance, mm. which is very key, 
we've entrusted this uh, particular edifice into the hands of uh, Ghana Health Service. Okay. We expect that they do the monitoring. Mm. They make sure at the end of the day, at the, if there are challenges, quickly mm. we all must know. Okay. Then we can fix it. We don't allow it to deteriorate. Mm. So that uh, uh, it wouldn't serve the purpose that we have put this particular uh, edifice for. Right. So we all must be, be up and doing the, the nurses, the medical doctors, mm. and even the patients themselves. Right. Must right. Know that look, this is something that is for the future. Okay. It's generational use. It's not just for you, and you come, you just deteriorate the place, and then you are gone. That okay. will not help all of us. Thank but you. We still think that this is not enough. We personally, I'm going to add my 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 resources to it. But I think the non-governmental organisations can also come in to help us. Thank you. To, thank to, you. To do other things. Honorable Matthew Jidam, thank you very much for your time. He's the Member of Parliament for uh, Pandai. He's used uh, his common fund and also drawn other resources to make sure that the people of Pandai can heave a sigh of relief. But let, in studio, you know, let me come back to you. Yeah. So the, the part about maintenance that I asked him is, is also very critical. Uh, what contribution can we expect from your end in trying to, to get these things done? Well, um, I think for, for Star Ghana Foundation, mm -hmm. we are in a long partnership with TV3. I think you have a, a, a reach that is your niche. Right. So um, it is through your efforts that this issue has been flagged. Also through your follow-ups that it, it has been responded to. Okay. So our expectation is that within this partnership, we should explore how we can follow up to ensure that the equipment that should be in this facility right. to make it useful mm -hmm. to maternal health care are there. Okay. And also the personnel that are required to be able to deliver quality services are also there. Right. I think it would be of interest for us to also determine how the establishment of this facility actually improves maternal health care right. in Panda. Okay. So these are things that I think we should explore in the partnership. Have you been happy with the uh, extent of health care in hard to reach communities? Well, I think that uh, we are making progress, but th we also are aware of a lot of challenges. And we are only talking about Pandai right. because it's been flagged and this facility has been put up. Right. There are other many more communities that are yet to have this kind of services okay. delivered to them. Okay. And I think that the, the, the Ministry of Health is aware, Ghana okay. Health Service is aware, okay. civil society organizations are also aware. Okay. And uh, the okay. MP said something that I want to highlight, Tell that me. many times as leaders they are in darkness. Right. So because they get used to the challenges, it, it, it's no longer a big issue mm. for them. But when others come okay. and raise it, okay. and in raising it also draw on the voices of the people who live there and okay. assess the services, mm. then the need to attend to the issue right. rises. So we think that we, we need to even scale up mm. mission beyond the seven regions that they, they are currently working in to see beyond these regions and districts, mm. where else should we be bringing to the limelight about the challenges they are having okay. with regards access to that, that, basic that, that services That was when you were Star Ghana, you were seven. Yeah. Uh, now that you have become Star Ghana Foundation, mm. what are we to expect? Well, I think that we have worked so well with TV3. Mm. If you look at uh, our portfolio of partnerships, okay. TV3 has been a long-standing one, I'm right. repeating, because we have, um, we, we, we have seen a level of responsiveness that is required for a fruitful partnership right. from TV3. So um, as, as a foundation, we've only transitioned into a, an independent entity. Okay. Our focus remains the same, ensuring that we work in partnership 
to secure transformative development, okay. particularly for people who are likely to be left behind, okay. women, children, girls, boys, and, uh, and what have you. So we think that we, we, we can still explore what is doable. Mission, you know, mission started under the gender equality social inclusion, and media core. Right. We have mission replicated in the local governance core. Absolutely. So it just tells us that we are looking at other ways of expanding the okay. work of mission. Okay. And I think that we should, we, sh we should explore more of it as we, 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 we unfold right. as a, an entity. Thank you very yes. much, Eunice. I'm grateful. Eunice Ryle Akbanyeji is with the Gender and uh, Social Inclusion uh, branch of missions is also the capacity building manager at Mission uh, Ghana, Star Ghana Foundation. I beg your pardon. And uh, Matthew Nyinam is the MP for Bandai. They've been my guests on the show. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you.